Hey guys, so it is, uh, oh God, the lighting is God awful. Um, hey, so it's my day off. Um, Jimmy's working. You can probably see him in his office there in the corner. Um, couple new things going on. I bought some wetsuit booties, which is really exciting because the last time we surfed, my toes were so freaking cold. So, um, got these rib curl wetsuit booties so gonna try them out this sunday um also right now i'm about to head out because we are installing a, a roof rack to hold surfboards so um we don't actually own surfboards yet but we plan to so i think this is the first step before we get surfboards and then we can't transport them so I'm going to drive out to Portland from here in Vancouver, Washington, just a short 30 minute drive. Um, we're going to have a new roof rack. So, hey, Jimmy, you want to say hi? Never mind. He doesn't want to say hi. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head out. Bye. Okay, guys, so we are here at Rack Attack. So, I'm going to go get checked in and. Um, get our roof rack installed. So, super excited. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay guys, so he said it would take about two hours to complete the rack, so. Turn right onto Southeast Washington Street. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk myself to a nearby coffee shop and hang out there for a bit um, until the rack is done. So just going to find me a spot here in Portland nearby. I did see that there's a, ve a vegan bakery, so I think I'm going to check that out. So until we get back to the rack shop, I'll see you guys later. All right, so um, flash forward, they gave me the call and the rack is all set. So, got my coffee from Sweet Pea Baking Company. I ate the croissant that I had because it just looks so good and I did not get any kind of picture of it because it was so good. So, yeah, sorry about that, but we're heading back. Let's check out the car and see how the rack looks. Mm -hmm. Guys, there's my car, there's the rack, so I'm gonna see about instructions oh my god so dope um you've got uh produce the built-in strap it's got the cable on the inside there for kind of the security you know we can cut through it mm -hmm. um, the extra strap stores there's a little opening right in the very bottom here okay. so that extra strap can all tuck away mm -hmm. um, when you, and you're not using it or once you have the boards loaded uh -huh. um, so that'll just pull straight out there um, the red Yakima button here is actually your release to let more strap out. Okay. Uh, if you're loading boards, you can basically have that completely undone. Mm -hmm. um, it sometimes helps to kind of flip it off to the side. Okay. Load the boards there. Okay. Um, you can stack the boards one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. uh, basically lift it on here. The little wheel is just to help oh, you kind of okay. roll that on there. Uh -huh. um, doesn't really matter which end goes forward, but if you want to look professional, put the fin out forward. Okay. <laughs> um, and then yeah, once the boards are in place, you basically flip the straps up and over the top of the boards. Oh, they've got these little rubber protectors there. Those can go right on the edge, um, just as you tighten down. Okay. But basically just feed the strap right through the top here. Okay. Through the buckle. You'll pull that nice and tight uh, with the key, which is up in your passenger seat. Oh, sweet, okay. You basically just turn that, and that'll basically lock this button up. Okay. So that it won't release anymore. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, just like I started with, you just tuck that strap there. Sweet. Hey guys, good morning. It is uh, well after 6 a.m. on Sunday. Um, as much as I would like to sleep in, we are going to go out and surf. So, um, I'm going to go wake up Jimmy. He's not going to be happy, but hey, we're going to go surf. So let's go wake him up. Morning. 
time to wake up. We're gonna surf. All right, guys, we are almost packed up, but it's time to put the surfboards on the rack. Pray for us. So Jimmy put extra straps just so that we can be extra safe. What do you think now? Eh. Also, they said if you want to look professional, Ben's front. Getting professional. But not really, we're still beginners. <laughs> Alright guys, we're on the road. This is a true test. Boards are looking good at 60 miles an hour. No boards flying off. If it did fly off, you'd make a really good thumbnail flight. <laughs> <laughs> boards fly off of the Kenner Surfer's car. Looking pretty good. Let's hope we make it the two hour drive. A fun fact for you, any of you Twihards out there, that right there is a high school, I don't know if you can see it, but where uh, Edward saved Bella from the truck. <laughs> fun fact. We pulled over just to double check. <laughs> Jimmy wants to make extra, <laughs> extra sure that the boards are safe. Are they safe? Watermelon Jolly Rancher. 
he even talked about adding vodka to it. Obviously not while driving. Stay safe. All right guys, good news. We made it to Long Beach in one piece. The car is intact, the surfboards are intact. So um, yeah, we're gonna unload everything and uh, suit up and get surfing. Um, but yeah, shout out to Rack Attack in Portland for getting us set up um, with this Yakima surf rack. So um, Jimmy's gonna get started and we'll get out there. Go girl, you go girl. <laughs> improvement that I tried calling Skookum Surf uh, for some last minute private lessons um, but of course they have lives and they were busy so we'll just probably hit them up next time but overall I think today wasn't bad yeah today was fun um, I did forget my uh, the waterproof casing for the GoPro so we don't really have much footage again so fail vlog number two again because I'm not prepared. It's a learning process. It is, uh, but we'll get better, hopefully. So enjoy this beautiful November 1st day. Um, I know, it's November 1st. We're surfing in November, who would have thought? Yeah. So um, until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Question. What kind of animal has those tracks? You should post your answers in the comments below.